वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लास आई एम अमिताभ घोष फ्रॉम ग्रेट मिशन पब्लिक स्कूल हिमतपुर ब्लॉक सो वी आर इन ए फोर्थ डे ऑफ योर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री एंड आई गेस इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड माय लेक्चर सो वी विल कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ योर ऑनलाइन क्लास so without any delay let's dive into your online lecture so student we are in the fourth day of your chapter number 3 that is on manipulating images using gimp in today's chapter the topic that i'm going to cover is more on creating a new file in last class i showed you how to create a file how to save a file how to give a name of a file after closing that file i showed you how to open that existing file but i thought that i have to give some more information about creating a file so that thing i'm going to discuss it today with you so let's start let me minimize this window my gimp application is already on so if you check this screen carefully students this particular window main window of gimp is divided into three segments or three parts the left part is all about toolbox where you have different type of tools having different type of measurement the center portion of your main window is your artboard where you create your drawing where you create your images and the right portion of gimp window is your layer box and brush tool where you can different give different type of effects to your drawing or graphics so in today's topic as i said i'm going to discuss some more features about creating a file so in order to show that i have to show it practically so go to file menu and again click on new or press control plus n from your keyboard to create a new image window so this window you have already seen, uh, seen in the previous class but i have not shown you the section about template well a template is something which is predefined for the measurement of your artboard if you click over here you will find different type of measurements like the first one is a0 sheet is of paper which have a different measurement with 300 ppi ppi stands for pixel per inch that means in one square inch how many pixels are present here it shows 300 pixel so if you click up over it it will show you the measurement in width size and height in millimeter mm so these are the measurements that is shown over here for a a0 sheet of paper now the popular sheets that we remember is a4 and a3 let's check the measurement for a4 sheet of paper so it is 209.97 for width and height is 297.01 mm and below than that the pixel already shown over here as i said it is of 300 ppi that is pixel per inch so the actual measurement for uh, a4 sheet is 300 cross 209.97 cross 297. 01 mm but when it is converted in pixel this is the measurement 
for your template for a4 sheet of paper and obviously in last class i told you what is rgb color well r stands for red g stands for green and b stands for blue those are the three uh, those are the three primary colors that is used to create colors of different patterns for your drawing now if you click on advanced option now you will find some more information about the artboard so x resolution you might have heard about resolution well a resolution is the quality of picture for a camera you might have heard about uh, 8 megapixel camera or 10 megapixel 18 megapixel camera so those are the color depth or the quality of the images so x resolution is the color quality in x axis that uh, and for y axis the color depth is 300 pixel per inch x axis and y axis you might have heard when you create graphs in mathematics and resolution as i said is the color depth in x axis and y axis then color space as i told you rgb color what else you have you have gray scale and perceptual gra gamma these are different type of color effect that you may choose but by default rgb color is showing or selected then precision 8 bit integer these are the different measurement as of now as a beginner you have to select as 8 bit then this is the other graphics effect of gamma what I, what else you have you have linear light these are also the color effect then color profile what type of profile you are going to create for GIMP that option you can either select default as RGB or if you have a different color effect you can select the location and you can upload the color effect these are the advanced uh, features for GIMP now next comes fill with you, you can see background color what are the other options you have foreground color then white transparency and pattern background color means behind your artboard what color is being selected that option by default selected as background and foreground means what colors that you have in front of your artboard the other three forms is white color transparency means the color that is like a water form behind the color is already been visible for the, the drawing that you can create pattern is a different type of color format so these are the different forms of color fill and this is a section if you want to create some artboard with some more information then you can write some comments on this particular section and then click on ok so when i click on ok it will create an artboard with this measurement 209.97 and height 297.01 so let's check it out click ok now when you click on ok it is the same height and width reflect on the artboard that you have already selected so let me check image scale do you see that this is the measurement we have already uh, selected before creating an a file in GIMP how it 
how I, I bought this uh, scale image I simply went to image menu and then I click on scale image which will give me exact measure that I had taken for A4 sheet of paper which is this one on the screen let me show you another measurement so let me close this window from here again go to file click on new or press ctrl and button go to template this time I will select some better color depth that is 1280 into 720 which is a color depth of HD print or high definition definition print of 720 pixel so as you can see when I select that template the measurement of width and height is reflecting over here so if I click on OK see the artboard measurement has been changed now again to check the info about this artboard that you are uh, selected from using a template go to uh, image menu and then click on image scale and it will show you the measurement that you have created for creating a new file so student that is it for today tomorrow we will see our next topic thank you so much